is Wednesday, April 17th, bringing you today's announcements. For today's lunches, there will be the awesome choice of popcorn chicken, cheese stuffed breadsticks, mozzarella, and tomato panini, fajita style chicken, and daily turkey. Now down to weather. Good morning, Comstock High School. Tavy is here. And for tomorrow's weather, we're going to have a high of 64 and a low of 40 with, you know, a chance of thunderstorms. So make sure you dress appropriately. Back to you guys. Thank you to our wonderful weather crew. Abrogate. A verb meaning to fail or to do what is required. Example. Our city needs to abrogate outdated laws. Let's head on over to today's St. History with Mr. Wheat. Yes. Let me guess, you want knowledge. Knowledge. Okay. okay. So, on this date in 2011, for all you Game of Thrones fans, Game of Thrones premiered on HBO. And it's what? It's last season or something? I don't watch yeah. it, so I don't know. Yeah, so. last season right now. All right, there you go. So, for all you Game of Thrones people, there you go. Game of Thrones premiered on this day, 2011. Thanks to Mr. Wee and our wonderful history crew. On Wednesday morning, the food service staff will be serving breakfast banana splits in the cafeteria for breakfast. Sounds yummy. Now down to a segment for a Delay the Day prom fun fun fundraiser. Good morning, Comstock High School. This is Anthony bringing you a special announcement. We are advertising a fundraiser called Delay the Day. This is where... In each one of your classes, you have this beautiful jar. It's not just a jar, it's a beautiful jar. If you put change into this jar, you can delay that hour. I'm gonna get to what hours will be delayed after this message. But what are we doing? This money is going towards prom. All the change collected will go. Will be going to Miss Miller so they can go to prom. But if a change has $10 in it, it can go towards a different class. Have that in mind or that hour that will be delayed. So this upcoming Friday, you can delay second hour. If you don't really like your second hour, I'll put some change in that jar. Or the following week will be third, so forth and so on, until fifth hour. So put some change in the jar, fill up the jar, get some free time in class, because, you know what I'm saying, who really wants to do work, you know what I'm saying, on a Friday. So, yeah, so this has been Anthony, and uh, fill your jars. And remember, I'm Anthony. Thank you to Anthony for the prom segment. And now let's hear the German word of the day. Again, a German word, no Bulgarian word. <laughs> One. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back to the Bulgarian word of the day. The solution to this word, I shall write it quick, quickly, is, are you ready? This is, this is, this is amazing. And, and animals, ladies and gentlemen. It's not that it's out of there. Out of Please. Fire. I am back with the German word. No Bulgarian anymore. No Bulgarian, no Bulgarian. And <laughs> my new word for you is Gamer. So, so what is uh, Gamer? What, what is out this? of here. Gamer. Gamemormor? Oh my goodness. Oh, fine, fine. Fine, fine. Gamemormor. If you know what Gamemormor means, then text to my school email address and you get a lot of candy. Mm -hmm. So that's it. Gamemormor. They, they say Gamemormor. Gamem they say Gamemormor. Oh my goodness. Thanks for the German word of the day. Attention, juniors and seniors, tickets for prom are on sale beginning this week during both lunches in the cafeteria and the attendance office. The cost is $40 per ticket. The tickets will be on sale through May 3rd. If you are planning to bring a guest that is not a Comstock High School student, a guest pass must be completed and approved by Ms. Stewart by May 3rd. Guest passes are available outside student services or in the attendance office. Please see Alexis Hofaker or Ms. Miller if you have any questions. Now down to sports. Oh, hey, what's up, beautiful Colts? It's Harrison Osborne, and we're here for your sports. In track news, last Friday, Comstock's varsity track team participated in their fourth Gold Lake Invitational, along with 13 additional teams from the Kalamazoo region, D1 to D4. On the boys' side, sophomore Josh Small started things off for the evening, taking sixth in the 110-meter high hurdles with a time of 16.68 seconds, and sixth in the 300-meter IH is a time of 45 to uh, 23 seconds. Tyler Ray also made his statement to finish second 
in the 200 meter dash, obtaining a PR of 23.30 seconds. 4x100 relay team, Josh Law, Evan Veenheist, and Bernard Whitehead, also Tyler Wright, took third with a time of 45.26. In the field events, Bernard Whitehead took second in the high jump with a new PR jump of 6.02. Josh Small also took fourth in the long jump with a PR of 19 feet 9 inches. On the girls' side, freshman Gianna and Nathaniel found her place to take fourth in the 100 meter dash, 13.69 seconds PR, and fifth in the 200 meter dash with 29.03 PR. Also, in women's tennis news, your Comstock Colt tennis team participated in the Greater Kalamazoo Tennis Tournament Saturday and Monday with the other 13 teams in our county. Emily Dodson, was our lone representative in the finals on Monday, finishing fourth in the tournament with wins over Galesburg Augusta and Kalamazoo Central. The doubles team of Sammy Bogma and Alexis Hofaker picked up another win over Rod Siegel, while Franco Lorche played a great match against Kalamazoo Central before losing in a dramatic tie break. Join us in Brandywine Tuesday and Berrien Springs on Thursday for conference matches. Thank you guys. Back to Tillman and Alex. Thanks, Harry. And those have been our wonderful WNC announcements, and uh, we will see, see you later.